Hello people, I'm Jenny Matherill and I am a fourth generation witch. Well, it's February and life is beginning to sprout and as a result we are going to fall headlong into a love spell. Today's video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is a platform introducing you to hundreds of psychics, tarot card readers and astrologers. If you would like to know whether your Valentine Day crush is into you, why not get a reading? I have asked many astrologers and tarot card readers on Keen to tell me what I need to know. I actually just asked them to get confirmation of what I already know because I can read my own tarot cards. However, what Keen do really well is give you a different perspective on that same information or just answer the questions that you've got. It's super easy to get started. Simply create an account on Keen and then you're instantly linked with whoever you would like. You can use the filters to find out exactly what person would suit you for what style of reading. And if you click on my link in the description below, you will get 10 minutes reading for $1.99. And this is a massive saving, up to $99 in savings. You can do it through text, through chat, through video call. It is up to you. So click on the link in the description below for my sponsor, Keen. So today I want to show you an ethical love spell to help you find love. If you are currently have a crush on someone, then you can do this love spell in the hope that it might work on that crush, but it may, it may not, but it will work just don't know on whom. I'm often asked by clients to perform a love spell for them, but I tend not to do those specific love spells because they're asking me to change somebody else's personal freedom, personal choice, and personal ability to make a choice. And for that, I think it is unethical. It is really difficult as well to perform these spells unless you use dark magic and it always backfires. You cannot make people fall in love with you. You can make them obsessed with you, but obsession is seriously dangerous and you don't want that anywhere near your life. So what we're going to do today is a quick love spell in a jar. Now this is a perfect love spell to go out with on the town. Put it in your pocket, you put it in your bag and you take it with you. It's almost like advertising that you are there and available and it's especially good for just, you know, casual dating, maybe a hookup. You can do this love spell for just friendship or you can do it for romance. I shall show you how to change spell for your particular needs. So the spell we're going to look at is the jar spell. I love a jar spell. They really are quite quick, quite simple and quite easy to do. And this one is perfect when you've dressed up glam and you're off on a night on the town and looking for a bit of love. You know, if you're on Tinder, keep this with you on your Tinder dates and it will help bring that person to you. However, I'm going to tell you what ingredients I would add to this jar to get a perfect dating love spell in a jar. So first of all, let's go to my bureau and gather my ingredients. Red is for passion and so I'm going to use a cloth to place my spell upon whilst I work it. This is pink pepperberry and this is going to add the spice into my spell jar. Next up, I need an actual jar. You can buy them quite cheaply at Hobbycraft or online. I like to bring in colour magic, so I'm using a red candle for passion and love. And lastly, I'm going to need some incense. I'm going to get my most romantically inclined incense and I have some jasmine here, so that is what I'm going to use. I'm also going to add in some rose petals to the mix because rose petals are of course the original flower of love. You can buy these in supermarkets nowadays, well I can, so otherwise you can just use some fresh rose petals. 
and some lavender, a purifying, cleansing and loving herb. So here are my ingredients for the Love Spell jar. Lavender, rose petals, jar, some Himalayan pink salt, some wax and some incense. So I have laid out my working area and I'm going to cleanse and purify with the Jasmine Joss Sticks. This simply takes away any negativity which can affect the outcome of your spell dramatically. Deciding between my Rowanwood wand and my Sunstone wand. I think I'm going to use the Sunstone, they feel better. And with this, I cast a circle to help bring love to my life. For my jar spell, I'm going to use a pestle and mortar. And to it, I'm going to add this pink Himalayan salt. The pinkness reflects the beauty of the love in the spell. And the salt adds to your protection when seeking new love. To this, I'm going to add two spoons of rose petals, and you can use fresh or dry. And lavender for purity and freshness of heart. And I'm going to add a little bit of pepperberry. Pepper adds a little bit of spice to this spell, but you don't have to add that. You don't have to add any of the ingredients that I've told you about. Here's a basic list of love spell ingredients. Just add the ones that you feel most drawn to. The spices will add a little bit of heat and passion. Grind them up into equal size pieces. Cleanse your glass jar with your joss stick and then fill it with your love spell ingredients. I am using red wax to stopper the bottle, but you must use whatever wax colour you are most drawn to for a love spell. Now you'll get ready to go out and take this with you. These spells will bring you the love to your life that you're looking for and I thoroughly recommend them. They're ethical, they're fun to do and they work. Let me know in the comments below what you think because I really enjoy reading all of them. Otherwise, don't forget, it's my coven meeting. It's coming up soon in about two weeks when I put it online. You need to join my Patreon for it. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill and you'll see all the four tiers I've got available for you to join. Have a look. There's something there for everybody. Otherwise, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps my channel. And I will see you in a few days. And if you've made it this far, you obviously enjoy my channel. So check out this playlist for you.